Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel Kavi Web Designs and today I'm going to tell you all about our commands, chown, check mode, up time, who, who am I, PS and many more. So here our first command for this video is, here's the chown command. The chown command in, in Linux is used to change the owner and group of a file or directory. This is particularly useful for managing managing permissions and ownership of files in a multi multi user user environment. So here in our syntax, here it shows chown the owner. It can be Kali. The group is also Kali, and then in the and then the file name can be any file name you want. So here in our example here, here chown here in our example we we can chown a user for with its group from no we can we can chown a text file and then change the ownership ownership of that to an another owner as you can write chown chown tester a tester colon tester my file dot txt so now let's go to our utm to see to what to work out this command in there so here is my utm here here i'm just gonna clear this so now here we have this first of all i'm going to the bobic directory see so first of all i'm going to the bobic directory as because that's where i have put all of my put all of my files there so here i'm just gonna type just stop here and now here in my I'm in the desktop and I'm going to do CD with so now in there here I have here I'm gonna create a sample file called bavik called bavik.txt so now I have created that so now in there I have created a file called bavik.txt and now here I want to see I'm, I'm gonna type a command called L s dash dash l r t l l r t so l t r or it can be anything so here it shows who's the user which is kali of course which is also kali and it shows what's the what the file what is the file so white txt has a ownership of ownership of kali and the group is and the group is of course kali so now here i want to actually change that to another user called tester and that user i'm gonna give the ownership from for that file as tester with the group of tester also so here i'm gonna chown i'm gonna type tester which is actually which is a user and i'm gonna press colon tester again so it will give the it'll so it will give the ownership to call to tester to the person called tester and it will give the group to, to also tester for this file bavik.txt so now here here now it says changing ownership of bavik.txt operation not permitted as because i need to do type the command sudo su that means i will go to the i'll be the root i will be the root so when i type my when i type the password here i'll become the root that means i can change so i can change the ownership so here again i'm gonna write tester tester with the colon of tester and then here i'm gonna give my file name called bavik.txt when i press return here here now it has successfully changed it to uh, change the ownership of this file to a person called to a user called tester so now let's see if this is true so here now it's now showing now it's showing the owner is kali the owner is tester and the group is the group is also tester and it was changed uh, on august 9th on this date and then here it was created on this date and here the file name is uh, shown here so now let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation to learn about more. So here, then our next command in this video is check mode, check mode command known as check mod. So the check mode command in Linux is used to change the file permissions of a directory of a file or a directory, and it allows you to set the read, 
write and execute permissions for the owner, owner, group and others. So here, here in our syntax, we, here we have check mode, the permissions and the file name. So in our example, check mode 755 for myfile.txt. Now here, what does what does all of these uh, three digit numbers mean? So here I have a list of three digit numbers which can be used for check mode. The three digit number 000 cannot give a owner and it's the same for others, same for uh, the others tab and here it, it represents that you can't, that there's no permission for you to open this file or, or not. So now, so here, here we have 111. 222 333 444 555 666 777 75 and here we have 755 755 has a ownership of rwax that means you can read write and execute it and here for the it's the same for the groups and the others and here it represents a the that means you can read write and execute it so now Let's go to our UTM to test this. So now here I'm going back to I'm going to my UTM here, and now here I'm gonna type check mode. Here I'm gonna type check mode here, and I'm gonna type. So I'm gonna type seven five five. That means people. That means anybody who enters into this account can read it, write it, and even exec execute it. So here, seven five five, and the file name Bavik. txt. Now when I press return, now I have changed these permissions that anybody can see that file anywhere because anybody who are, who logs into this account can open that file read that file and even type into that file and even save the file or execute the file. So now knowing this, let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation to learn about more. So here into a, so here coming up into our next command which is the uptime command. The uptime command shows how long the system has been running, the number of users currently logged in and the system load average for the past one Five and 15 minutes so here in our commands here we only have to write up time for the sample output to come like this the day the time and uh, uh, how long it has been running and the numbers of number of user currently logged in which is two users for average because there's a system user and there's your user which is clear or your name of the user and the load average time the average time of the system loads which is 20 can be 20 minutes 18 minutes and 15 minutes so now let's go to our utm to test this all so now here back at our utm here here i'm gonna i'm gonna try my command here i'm gonna try my command here called try bring up time and now here it shows the it shows the time and then it shows how long how long I have been using this uh, this server for 35 minutes two users the load average 0 0.02 0 0.01 0 0.00 and here let's and here knowing and now let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation knowing the uptime command so now here our next command is the unnamed command the unnamed command prints the system information such as the operating system name the network mode the ho the host kernel name and other details so here we have to type the command unnamed dash a will show all of the system's details but if you just write unnamed it will show only some of them so here on our sample output when we type unnamed dash a it will show all it will show all of it what architecture it is what date you open you first time opened it and what operating system is it running on so now let's go to our utm here to test this so here i'm going to type the command unname which is just when i type just unname you'll see linux but when i say unname dash a it'll show the full thing linux kali 6.30 the kali arm 64 and smp debian 
all of that and the architecture it is that and what system you're using and many more so now let's go back to our powerpoint presentation to learn about more so here we have our next command which is the who am i command the who am i command displays the, the current user username user's username here in the command we just have to write who am i and will, and the sample output will tell you who you are what it will tell you what's your username so in our in the sample output it can come Kali for you or it can come whatever username you want it to come so now let's go to our UTM here to see to uh, type the command so now when I type who am I and now it will say root but when you are out of the root it will say Kali because if you are in the root you have changed when you when you have written sudo su it will ask you for the come it will ask you for the password when you type your password you will change users to the root that means when you type who am i you will say you're the root but if you are not if you are just your normal kali user you will say kali so now let's go back to our powerpoint presentation to learn about more so moving on to our second last command which is who command the who command shows who is currently logged in to the system and their login details. So now here we just have to write the who command for this sample output to come. So it will show user, user1 which is tty7. This user is the is the system and the user2 is pts0 which is our user here. It will even show where you are in the coordinates and here it will show what date what time it has been logged in what time you have logged in so let's go into our utm to test this so now here i'm gonna type who and as before shown here is our user kali and here it shows tty the user here and it shows when it has when it has logged in here is saying 8 zero eight dash zero nine and here in the Kali and here in the second one it shows Kali PTS slash one and it shows when they have logged in. So it shows 08-09-21-24. Uh, so now let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation to learn about more. So here this is the last command for our video today which is the PS command. The PS command reports a snapshot of the current processes by default it lists the process is running in the current shell. So here, when I type, when you type the command ps, it will show the sample output as this: one two three four pts slash zero one two three one two three five pts slash zero, and here it show the bash and the ps. So now let's see. Let's test this in our UTM. So here I'm gonna type the command ps. Now when I type the command ps, it will show pid tty and the time of cmd so here it will show a lot of lot of numbers with the pts which is slash one and then the time which is zero 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 and here it shows sudo and here also and it's the same for su this and ps so friends this is it for today and if you like this video and you want to support us please like, share, subscribe to our channel Kali Web Designs and I hope you will have a nice day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.